cat. It's Maximus here. Just wanted to make a little video about this little electronic thing because I thought it was kind of cool. Anyway, it's smaller than a dime. I'll show that in a second. It's just a tiny little lithium ion battery charger that I found. I don't even remember where I found it. People are going to want some details, so I'm kind of starting in the middle where it already has a charged battery just to show that it isn't as smart, meaning it's not a negative delta. What that means is with lithium-ion batteries, as they charge up, uh, it essentially drops voltage. It continues to try to bring the battery's voltage up to 4.2 volts. And then on a more intelligent charger, what it will realize is that that's not fully charged. It's about 85%. And so what they do is when they hit that 4.2 volts, then they switch over paying attention to watching the amps drop. And as soon as the amps get really low, then it cuts it off. And that's what's known as negative delta. This one's simple, only charges, it just hits 4.2 volts and then cuts off, which is more of a safe way of doing it on a simple charger, but only charges batteries to about 85%. And in this case, if we look at, well, you can't see it there. There we go. Come on now. We can see that it's 4.1 volts, but it's still blue. And the reason that is, is because it, once it hits that 4.2 volts, it stops charging until the battery drops below 4.1 volts, then it'll go back to charging again. Anyway, that's kind of the deal with it. And the other thing I wanted to point out is it's actually reasonably powerful. We have a little bit more stout of a battery here. And if you watch the display over here, On a, it does have reverse polarity detection because as you can see it wasn't properly trying to charge there we go I don't know if you can see over there but it's pushing half an amp so that would be like USB standard 500 milliamps a draw at 5 volts USB 1.0 standard and so that's what I thought was also kind of neat is it's a two and a half watts actually reasonably powerful considering how tiny it is. So let's take a much closer look at how uh, small this little unit is. Get these wires get disconnected. But this thing is super tiny. As we saw earlier, it actually has red and blue. The blue kind of slightly lights up if there's no load on it. But this thing is just absolutely super microscopic. Let me get some of this stuff cleaned up. There we go, zoomed in a bit more. This chip that's on there actually says 4057AA. I don't know anything about that, but this is how super tiny this is. It's actually smaller than a dime. Two LEDs, a couple resistors for those LEDs. There's a capacitor and then this little six leg 4057AA chip. And just had no idea. I mean, and of course, the micro USB port. No idea a battery charger could actually be that small, but I think it's pretty neat. Now, it only charges to a voltage, as, you know, 4.2 volts, but nonetheless, you know, to have uh, both a charging and a charge indicator, just thought it was pretty cool. And so people kind of wonder how they can get chargers to fit inside. There's some of these special 18650s, etc., lithium ion cells. I have one with soldered wires and people wonder how they can get chargers actually integrated into the battery and that's actually pretty simple because you can have a board just like this or even a more complicated one and that can easily fit within the footprint of an 18650 and actually have integrated charging. So I thought that was pretty cool and I can't remember it was like a micro drone or something. This is where this little charger came from. I thought that was just such the neatest little uh, battery charger and who knew that they could just be so small and still be re you know acceptably fast 2.5 watts is pretty slow um, so this would be better for obviously charging small little pouch cells you know little batteries like this which I kind of been trying to experiment with driving little LEDs and things but I uh, just wanted to make a little video and share this you know <laughs> still unbelievable I mean these are my pinky I just Pretty crazy that you can just get a charger so tiny. But once again, thought this was neat, and I'm going to try to make my own flashlight uh, and using this as an integrated charger. 
And even though, once again, it only charges at 85% or just 4.2 volts and then stops, it's actually better for lithium ions to short charge them some just because it's less uh, stress on the battery and I'm just fine with that. Anyway, never seen something this small and figured I'd share it with you all. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out. <laughs>